HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. Founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi in 2003, the dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Thank you all for coming out tonight for our game with Medfield. Um, before we start with the senior night festivities, we'd like to first very quickly uh, recognize our former boys basketball coach, Coach Bliss, just retired after 40 years coaching the golf team, was just named National Golf Coach of the Year as well too, so we want to give a big hand for Coach Bliss. And again, thank you all for coming out tonight uh, for our Coaches vs. Cancer game. Um, thank you as well to Medfield for, for being a part of, of tonight's festivities as well. We wish you guys the best of luck with the rest of the season. Um, instead of uh, charging money for admission tonight, um, any, any money that is given at the front table is going to go directly towards American Cancer Society. Um, cancer is unfortunately something that's affected all of us uh, in many ways, but one of the great things is that it also brings hope in that everyone can come together in a night like this and a community can come together and, and try to beat it. Because in order, in order to stand up to something like cancer, it takes heart and strength, courage, it takes determination, it takes resiliency. And there's nobody in this gym that has more of that than Coach Keen. We love you, Coach Keen. Thank you. All right, first things first. Herb, come on out for, real quick. I don't have anything for you, but I want you to come out here. Come on, come on. I don't know if the, all the Hoptown people know, but Herb got his 400th win on Monday night, which is unbelievable. 400 wins for Herb Grace. Congratulations. I feel I feel so honored. <laughs> Not six hundred losses. I feel so honored to, to to be able to coach against Herb for the last twenty years. And I know Medfield is so lucky to have the best coach in the Tri Valley League. So, and I, I'd like to uh, thank Herb very much. And and again, thank the the Big Blue. Uh, tonight is coaches versus cancer, and also very importantly, it's a night to recognize the seniors. Every night. Um, Every year on this night, you know, I thank the student body for coming to the games, and I thank the uh, community members for coming to the game and, and the pep band. Um, but I'd be remiss if I didn't take this time, since I have the mic, to thank everybody in the community of Hopkinton for the support and outpouring of well wishes and prayers and good thoughts for my family. It's, it's, it's really reaffirmed and confirmed what I've always thought about the town of Hopkinton. So I want to thank everybody in the community. I had uh, so many people uh, reaching out to me and many of them sharing personal stories about um, their battles with cancer. So I want to thank everybody and I'd like to thank everybody who came out tonight. Thank you so much. And now, as I said, tonight is definitely a night to recognize the seniors and all that they've done over their four years. So we're going to introduce the seniors and call out their parents, and they're going to take a quick picture. First up, Captain Stephen Maffiori with his parents Keith and Mary and Grandma Peg. Next up, Captain Tommy Ambrosoni with his parents Mark and Maria and brother Michael. Bye. 
Dad likes flowers. Next up, Captain Drew Rancatori with his father, David, and his uncle, Steve. Drew's mom, Maureen, wanted to be here, but she was under the weather tonight, so we'll send good thoughts to uh, Maureen and Grandma Ruth. Next up, Jacob Cohen with his mother, Lori, and sister, Allison. Ned Dean with his parents, Tim and Allison Dean. Travis Finfrock with his parents, Jeff and Lisa Finfrock. Alan Rosen with his parents, Bruce and Linda Rosen, and brother Joel. Ellis Spar with his parents Jerry and Elizabeth Spar, sister Olivia and brother Kyler. And I'd like to recognize our senior manager and scorekeeper, Jason Hicks. Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to another night of Hiller Volleyball. I'm Steve Sweetapp along with Samantha Dings as the Hopkinton Hillers welcome the Medfield Warriors into the field house on a very rainy Friday night, Samantha. Yeah, very rainy Friday night, so everyone's come in to enjoy some basketball here at the, uh, at the Athletic Center. I think we're ready for introductions. I hear the microphone. Uh, good evening, and uh, once again, welcome to Hopkinton High School for tonight's varsity boys basketball game as the Medfield Warriors take on the hometown Hopkinton Hillers. Hopkinton High School in the Tri-Valley League is committed to the highest ideals of sportsmanship and establishing a healthy environment for interscholastic competition. We will not tolerate negative statements or actions directed towards competitors, coaches, game officials, or fans in attendance. Please make sure your behavior reflects respect towards everyone. And thank you again to everyone for coming out tonight, to the Medfield Warriors for joining us 
in this special evening as we raise money and awareness for cancer. And for tonight, starting lineups. First, for the visiting Warriors. At guard, number one, senior, Aiden Finn. At forward, number two, senior, Robbie Armani. At forward, number 13, junior, Aiden Clark. At guard, number 14, junior, Race Hanna. And at forward, number 21, senior, Drew Backey. The Warriors are coached by Evan Moon, Mark McGuire, Mark Spoladaro, and head coach, Herb Grace. And now, for the hometown, Hopkinton Hillers. At guard, number 14, senior, Ellis Spar. At forward, number 33, senior, Elon Rosen. At forward, number 23, senior captain, Drew Rancatori. At guard, number 10, senior captain, Tommy Ambersoni. And at guard, number three, senior captain, Stephen Mafiori. The Hillers are coached by Jay Golden, Chris Banks, and head coach, Tom Keene. If you would now rise for the singing of our national anthem, which will be performed tonight by Hopkinton Jr., Kelsey Breslin. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched we're so gallantly streaming and the rockets regulate the bombs bursting in air and gay proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled for the start of the game. Hopkinton comes into this game with a 9-8 and eight record overall, 5-1 and one in Tri-Valley League. They're in first place in the large school division. Hopkinton coming off a tough loss to Westboro on Wednesday night, 57-33. Medfield beat Norwell on Wednesday night, 73-60, to 60, or excuse me, 61 to 52. And overall, Medfield at 5 and 9. Over and in the league, 3 and 4. And we're ready to get this show on the road. Rosen jumping for Hopkinton. Medfield controls the tap. A little bit of a scrum there. Jump ball. Hopkinton possession. Ambersoni bringing the ball up. And nice block, Hopkinton possession. Armani with the block. And off Hopkinton. Rosen just couldn't finish that. He's in good position under the basket. Yeah, we'll have to see how uh, Hopkinton handles their uh, 
tall man in the middle. Uh, he is uh, listed as six foot seven, Aiden Clark. Yeah, Hopkinton, not a lot of height here. Off balance, but put away by Armani. Mafiori goes to the hole. Nice take. And it's good to see uh, Mafiori uh, back on the court. He'd been in uh, street clothes the last couple of home games that we saw. So. Good man defense from the Hillers. Finn goes to the hole. It looked like a travel, but. And nice defense from Ambersoni. Yeah, denying Causing. him the baseline. That was a good job. Ambersoni bringing it up. Mafiori yeah. outside. Nice touch. Steal. Steal by Rankatori. Takes it, takes it all the way and uh, gets a nice bucket there. Another nice steal. Rankatori with a nice steal at just on the Hopkinton defensive uh, side of half court. Two shots. Eight to two, Hillers in front here in the first period. Nice back door. Draws the contact. Yep, and Finn must have got him. Shooting two. In and then out on that one. And missed both ends. Armani with the rebound, he brings it up. Ambersoni meets him. It's a deep three, it's long. Clark with the rebound. Ambersoni, oh, just a little too much mustard on that. Spar couldn't get to it. And Frock and Keefe are in now. Nice uh, over the top. Looks like Travis got him. I'm surprised that they're not using Clark to post up more with such a size advantage. Yeah, it is. Interesting. I mean, he's tall, but he's not big. Eight to three. Hillers in front. Yeah, 
Ambrosoni, Rosen, back to Ambrosoni. Rosen bringing it in. Nice power. Ambrosoni with the steal. Finfrock. And nice put back. Very good put back from, uh, was that Rosen? Yeah. Twelve to three, Hillers in front. Last time these two teams met, Hopkinton won seventy-three to sixty-four. So we have the uh, Hiller pep band in the house. We've got the student section filling up. We'll see if uh, we can get Scotty Mack and to get them uh, on their feet and making some noise for the. Support the Hiller boys. Good opening four minutes for the Hillers here, though. Nine-point yeah. lead. Keeping uh, keeping Medfield to, to three points. Halfway through a quarter is a uh, good job on the, on their part on the defense, and they're doing it pretty cleanly. Only one foul so far for the Hillers. Sony with the rebound, quickly brings it up. Finfrock. Lankatori, Rosen. Back out to Ambersoni. Nice strong take, good finish. See if Ambersoni can uh, finish off a uh, classic three-point play. Josh, Josh Sarapuko checks in. Excuse me. And Ambersoni makes it a classic three-point, three-pointer. Good swarmy defense from the Hillers. Clark with a block and Sarah Puzco. Ooh. Thought for sure that was going down. And Frock to Ambersoni. Nice take. Hopkinton keeps alive. Travis at the point, goes to the left wing. Nice cut. Good movement from the Hillers. Josh draws the foul this time. Let's see how he does at the line. Cooper checks in. Oh, no, he doesn't after the free throws. Rims that one out. Medfield. Back door. Clark saves it. 
Oh, good hands from Ambersoni. Just slapped it out. Top of the key, just short. Oh, oh Ambersoni with a block. Shooting two. Lucas Pagliarulo. Sixteen to four, Hillers in front here in the first period. Sony. Cooper, not quite. Ooh. Nice hustle from Amber Sony. They just got their legs tangled. Good swarming defense from the Hillers. Yeah, good swarming defense. That's you know, and they're they're not getting into foul trouble, and which is nice to see that they can uh, have a tough defense and not not commit fouls with it. Oh. Mafiori missed the three. Good hands from Ambersoni. That's it. Nice touch. To Cooper. Cooper. Nice layup. Uh, long on the three. Uh, Fiore controls it, brings it up. Travis for three, long. Nice cut, there's a foul. Sarah Pusco with a foul. Hopkins' defense is keeping Medfield outside the three-point line. They're really having trouble getting the ball inside. Yeah, I noticed they, uh, yeah, every time they've, they've tried to get it in, you know, and, and Clark is actually, their tall man is uh, on the bench right now. Matt Fiore bringing it up. Cooper, back to Mafiori. A little confusion there. Finfrock, whoa. Rosen screaming for the ball. Uh, got a midfield player down. Anderson. Well, that was the end of the quarter. I didn't even see that. I was looking at the injured player. So Hopkinton at the end of the first quarter, up 18 to 6. Just had to get some instructions from our director, Tom Dings. This is my first basketball game I'm filling in, brought off the bench. It's a little different than volleyball. We usually take a break between games. So 
start of second quarter. It'll be midfield ball. Hiller's up by 12. Oh, nice hustle. Oh, great hands. Cooper. Mafiori's got him on the break. Nice thought, but Cooper just uh, wasn't able to finish it off. Travel. Medfield with a turnover. Travis coming back to help. Oh, all alone. Uh-oh. There we go. He follows it up. Yeah, Rosen just wanted a little competition. Gets, gets the offensive rebound and the point. Just a chuck up, and it worked. Caleb Lawson. Lawson. Yep. Mafiori. Travis Mafiori. going to the hole. Brock. Let's see. Oh, Rosen tried to put it right back up, and that wasn't oh. successful. Mafiori with a foul. And you can tell his left ankle is still bothering him. Yeah, as, as you pointed out, it is uh, pretty heavily taped up. I have a feeling he's not going to you know, do as many minutes as he would otherwise. Johnny Bocciccio gets the first one for Medfield. Spar and Dean checking in. Tori to Mafiori. Back to Mafiori. Just, you know, looking at that big number ticking down above the above the backboard. Spar for three. Oh, how did they miss that? Mafiori bringing it up quickly. Guarnagia and the foul. Steve will shoot two. And he makes yep. the second one. You can only hope that the Free throw percentage isn't going to uh, play a part in the game later on. Mafiori with another rebound. Nice drive to the hole from Keith. Twenty-three to eleven. Hillers in front here in the second period. Caleb Lawson took that right down and uh, scored there. Nicotori, Mafiori. It's going to try oh, it nice again. Nice block. Wernargia with the block. Medfield trying to transition quickly. Poked away by 
Rankatori. Rosen and Matthew Finfrock and checking Spar back in. Go back to the go back to the water cooler there. Nice put back from Armani. Keith bringing it up quickly, straight to the hole. A little block out front. Oh, said it was in the act. Shooting two. Second foul for Lawson. Sony checking back in. Keith makes the first. <laughs> makes the second. A little press from the Hillers. Double team, Amber Sony. Midfield had an open man, but they just moved the ball too slowly. Finfrock disrupted that one. Ambersoni outside. Keefe for three. Nice touch. As Tom Nappy would say, count it. Travel. Another midfield turnover. Ambersoni, Keefe. Oh, nice block from Clark. And good hands from Rosen. Coming back, pushes that one outside. Backy checks in for Medfield. Oh, good play from Travis. Great block. Oh, nice take. Got his initial three blocked, but was able to pick the ball up and just go for the old-fashioned two. Another turnover. Keith on the break. Oh. In Still. and out, unfortunately. Good help defense from Rosen. Yeah, they don't seem to be afraid of, of double teaming whoever has the ball because the midfield doesn't seem to be able to just kind of break around and, and find the open person. Sarapusco and Cooper check back in. As does Finn for Medfield. Thirty to thirteen, Hillers in front. As we're coming near the end of the second period here. Yeah, Medfield's just slow after the pass is made. There's just no quick movement. Shot clock violation. Hopkinson with an impressive defensive performance here in the first half. Ambersoni. Outside. Cooper knocks down the three.
Yeah, the pass is just too high for Clark to handle. Which is saying something. He's six foot seven. And the pass was late. He made the cut. Finfrock, Ember Sony. Back to Finfrock. Amber Sony outside. Travis from the wing, another three. And close to backcourt violation here. Yep, they got him. Another forced turnover by the Hillers. Amber Sony bringing it up. Finfrock. Clark with the rebound. Oh, they got him. They had him open on the wing. Amber Sony from the outside, another three. Let it rain. Another turnover. Medfield sloppy with the ball. Cooper outside. It, they're feeling it. Nice take. Travis with another two. And a full half court heave brings the second half to a close as the Pillars with a commanding 44 to 13 lead. We'll be back with the second half. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. The dentist at Hopkinton provides services including comprehensive dental care, same-day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, and implant dentistry. The dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com.
Just before we uh, start the second half, we once again wanted to thank everybody in attendance for their generosity. Through your generosity and your donations, we were able to raise $2,200 tonight. That will go directly to the American Cancer Society. So thank you very much. And we're going to quickly draw the raffle winner.
And we're back for the second half of the Hopkinton Medfield Boys Varsity basketball game. Hillers in front, 44 to 13. What do you think about the first half, Samantha? Well, uh, the Hillers, as much as uh, the, the score itself is pretty amazing, it was their defense that really uh, yep. was uh, quite quite strong, and they uh, played man-to-man -man pretty much the whole time and still managed to do it without uh, accumulating a lot of uh, fouls. They only had four fouls the entire first half, which is, uh, I don't know, I think that's pretty amazing. Yep. And of course, they, they were hitting three-point shots right at the end, so they've ended up uh, with 44 points in the first half. Yeah, he'll start with possession. Spar takes it, inbounds it. Mafiori back out. Ambersoni drives to the hole, feeds it. Rancatori back to Rosen. Rosen. Back outside to Ambersoni. He'll reset. 13 on the shot clock. Nice pick from Rosen. Back out to Mafiori. And Steve picks up right where he left off. A three for number three. Remember Sony with the rebound. Rancatori. Mafiori. And tried to force that one. Clark with the rebound. Medfield trying to break. Another great rebound there from Armani. That swiped away. Mafiori. He's going to get go to the free throw line. Ambersoni will inbound it. Oh, nice play, Clark. Armani. A little bump to Mafiori. 47 to 15, Hillers in front. Ambersoni. Spar off the back. Medfield control. Finn brings it up. Rosen. Oh, they called a foul. Oh, that was on Spar. Yeah, Spar. I was going to say, because Rosen got that one cleanly. And Rosoni went to retrieve it from the uh, far corner of the athletic center. And Finn makes the first. Second one off the front of the rim. Ambersoni. Rancatori. Mafiori. Nice little mid range two pointer. Ambersoni with quick hands again. Spar following him. Ambersoni takes it, draws a foul. We'll shoot two. Medfield doesn't have any movement off the ball. Yeah, they are very flat-footed. Tommy makes the first. Hiller's at the half-century mark. And he makes a second. Oh, 
And Mafiori with a steal. A little trouble with the handle. Gets it. Spar for three. Sent it long. Another block from Rosen. Spar saves it. Amber Sony to Mafiori. Rosa deserves it after the block. Spar with the rebound. Travel. That was a good pass to Clark. Nice touch for the big man. Ambersoni bringing it up. Rosen. Rosen's got his, yeah, that should have been three. He's had his foot in the lane. Yeah, they really don't see many three second no. calls. <laughs> Even when it's deserved. Cooper will inbound the ball. Oops. Racatori, but. A little turnover. No. Finn dribbles it off his nice. foot. Going the other way. miscommunication, and Medfield cannot capitalize on it. Uh, Medfield's going to try uh, a little press. Whistle court pressure. It's just one-on-one -on -one pressure, though. There's no help. Ambersoni takes it right to the hoop. 53-18. Finfrock with the rebound. Oh, good hands from Medfield. And Clark puts that one over. Ambersoni, Finfrock. Good steal. Goes right into Drew Bach with Medfield and gives up the ball. Finn, covered by Ambersoni, gets it into Clark. Good touch again. Ambersoni's just he could have taken that one right to the hole. That goes long. Ambersoni with the rebound. Cooper, Finfrock. And push. Romani with a foul. Cohen checking in for the Hillers. Sarah Pusco inbounding ball. De Pietro to Cohen. Ben Frock. Nice take from Sarapusco. Sarapusco with a rebound and a turnover by the Hillers.
Nice take to the hole. Lawson for two. 55-22, Hillers in front as the third period winds down here. Sarah Puskow for two. Cohen giving him a pretty nice pretty, feed It there. was a pretty dish. Lawson again. Nice drive to the hole. Cohen bringing the ball up. Sarah Pusco at the foul line. Nice hands. And a turnover. I thought they were going to call Cohen for a foul there. Keefen bounding the ball. Gets it to Cohen. Finfrock with the rebound. A little sloppy there from Medfield. Whoa. That's the third foul. Third foul on uh, Lawson. Sarah Pusco will inbounds. Cohen. Keefe gets his blocked. Hillary's ball. Sarah Pusco in the paint. Head fake. Got him to go up and go to the line. Josh hits the first. Sends the second one off the back rim. Let Hillers keep the ball. Good hustle from the Hillers. Cohen inside to Sarah Pusco. And that's Gramargia with a foul. And we're, they're in the bonus. Just under 30 seconds left here in the third. And he misses it. Medfield with the rebound. Good hands from Finfrock. Out to Keefe. Good fake travel, though. Yep. I would have liked to have seen him dish there, too, because he had DiPietro right in the lane. Under 10. And key for the foul. Only the second team foul of this half for the Hillers. It's been a very fast moving game. Yeah, you, you don't have many times that you're yep, up stop at the as free you play. throw line. Ariel checking in for Medfield. Pacheccio hits the first. This is the second. Oh. Sarah Pusco with a takedown. 
Sends Lawson to the free throw line. Well, yes, basketball is a contact sport. And misses the first. And he hits the second. And that'll end the third period as Hopkinton takes a commanding 58 to 26 lead. Hiller's defense just continuing right where they left off from the first half. Yeah, and the, you know, and unfortunately, you know, Medfield for them, they haven't been able to, you know, answer that. So founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi in 2003, the dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. So tonight was also Coaches versus Cancer, and it was just announced that over $2,200 was raised tonight. So a yeah, good they, sum of money for a great cause. They had a raffle basket and all of the admissions paid into the athletic center were uh, donated directly to the American Cancer Society. So I do like these new headphones that we have. Yeah, Quite an improvement. Are. Very good, yes. And the fact that they both work is even, yes, even yes. better. Yes, very good that they work. And, and we have a great uh, full crew tonight. Director is uh, Tom Dings. Graphics is Bob Hamilton. And on cameras, we have Denise Antaki and Rowan Scott on the floor. And Mary Arnott up here in the crow's nest with us. And Medfield hits a deep three. Elias Pereira checking in, bringing the ball up. Kamkowicz to Cohen. To Pereira. DiPietro. Pereira with the cut. Another three. Lucas Pagliarulo. And a nice take from DiPietro. It's good to see some of the uh, some of the players coming off the bench, getting some uh, playing time, and hopefully getting some points. Another three. Anderson, three straight threes for the Warriors. Cohen. Dean, nice three. Hiller's in a 2-3 zone now. Another three from, is that Bocaccio? And Cohen draws a foul, no basket. They don't get to follow on like they do in the NBA where it's continuation. Cohen shooting one and one. And first one's off the front of the rim. Medfield controls and brings the ball up. Dean with the steal. And Pereira with the bat with the bucket. Yeah. Nice rebound. Yep. Medfield, good defense, wipes it away. Good hustle from Dean. 
Hart Hopkinton will be in the bonus the entire fourth period. Dean shooting one and one. Keith checking back in. Misses the second. Dean with another rebound. Spar bringing it up. Key from the corner. Kamkowicz with the rebound. Pereira from the top of the key. Spar. Back to Spar. There's a three. Deep three. Just a bit short. Pereira, Spar, Keefe, back to Spar. Takes it to the hole, nice finger roll. Falls in for the Warriors. Spar to Keefe. Back to Spar. Down low. Dean. Nope. Looked like it was going to go in, but uh, decided not to. Nice block from Dean. Cohen checking back in. And Keefe heading back to the bench. Dean with another rebound. And a foul from behind. So the boys' next home game is February 14th as they welcome Bellingham into the field house. I have a feeling there's something important about that. No, date. no, there's not. No, no, no that's no. not. That's no, no. That's a myth. There's nothing. Valentine's is. That's a hallmark holiday. I know. My wife will even agree with me. Yeah. <laughs> Samantha's wearing a hallmark T-shirt. Because that is a, that is my employer. No, I am. We've never been, uh, never understood this whole Valentine's Day thing. Yeah, I get kind of tired of it too. That and all the. All the glitter, the glitter, the hearts. It's, uh, I'm okay with the chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate, a little red wine. Okay, now yeah. we're talking. A little red wine? Yeah, this is a high school basketball game here. Now. And 73 to 41, Hiller's in front. Cohen. Another three from Dean, that's short. Travel. Nice hustle from Pereira. Kamkowicz inbounding. Knocked out by Lawson. Dean inbounding to Spar. Oh. They'll wait till the next break in the action. Cohen. Oh, 
It was just kind of a push prayer. Nice pass. Lawson with a, another two goes to the line. Was that on Dean? A foul. Oh, I thought that was actually on Cohen. Yeah, it's on Cohen. And that's off the back of the rim, but Lawson gets his own rebound. And a air ball from Ariel. Komkowicz brings it up. I thought Dean was going to hoist another three there. Off his leg, turnover, midfield ball. A little over two minutes left in the game. Cohen, Pereira, nice, nice speed from Pereira. Deep three from Medfield. Anderson buries that. And a steal from behind, so, oh, and a foul on Cohen. Another three, and another three points for Anderson. Cohen driving. That's another push, just double bounce off the rim. Dean up to Pereira. Nice, nice body control from Elias. Nice end to end pass there. Yeah, three hillers on the ball there as soon as that ball came into the paint. Jump ball. That'll be Hiller ball. Possession arrow pointing towards the hillers. Cohen brings it up. Oh, DiPietro with three. Under a minute. Eighty to fifty one. Oh, nice pass. Dean with the travel. It's a great pass from Cohen. So the Hillers will improve to 10 and 8 overall and 6 and 1 in league play. Maintain possession of first place in the large school division within the Tri-Valley League. Thirty seconds left. Prayer. Nice poke away. Strong defense right to the very yep. end. Cohen. And that'll do it, folks, is Hopkinton with a commanding 80 to 51 win over the Medfield Warriors. Pretty impressive performance, Samantha. Very impressive. Um, both sides of the ball, both offensively and defensively. They only committed nine fouls the entire game. 
Yep. It's so a wonderful way to you know to to have your have your players uh, play their best. Yep. So the Hillers uh, next home game February 14th, Valentine's Day. Uh, welcome Bellingham into the field house. So once again the final 80 to 51 for Samantha Dings. I'm Steve Sweetup on the rest of the HCAM crew, and we'll see you at the next game. Good night, everybody.